Hi, so I'm basically doing three videos in a row. So um, there was a request on how to, my schedule basically, and how I managed to fit in the gym. Um, first off, yeah, pass, fail, med school makes it a little bit easier and makes me not freak out about like having the time to go to the gym. So my schedule is basically I wake up at maybe like 6.30, 7-ish, depending on how I feel. And I wake up, get ready, go to school. First thing I do is go to the gym. And I'll go from like maybe an hour, hour 15 minutes. Then I go to the computer lab or I just bring my laptop and I go to a quiet place and I watch the lectures. And I basically stay on campus because I just feel antisocial if I just sit in my room and then I get like angry. Because my apartment's not that big. So I just, um, yeah, I just stay there till maybe two or three. I learn the material. Then I come home. I eat. I study study shower you know like that's basically a mixture of that stuff till like midnight um yesterday I stayed up till two so I'm a little groggy right now because I'm not I'm not one of those people who pulls all-nighters that I should also disclaim I there were people in my class who actually pulled all-nighters for the quiz we had today um, I went to bed at two woke up at seven I was like I can't I'm I'm gonna have to start caffeine I don't drink caffeine either so, to people who think that they need caffeine to function in med school, so far I haven't failed, and I'm not on caffeine, and I did not pull an all-nighter. I have not pulled an all-nighter in my life, and I, I'm going to cry the day that I have to, but obviously as a doctor I will, so we'll see how that goes. But basically, I think if you want to make it a priority, you can make it a priority, um, and I do extracurricular stuff too, it's not like it's just gym study, but that is basically my life. But I also don't, like, socialize that much when we have exams. Like, I'm not this, like, talkative person who's, like, oh, like, I'm going to lollydoddle for, like, an hour with my friends. Like, I'll go to the computer lab, and then, like, when I know that there's a 10-minute break between lectures, I'll come out and say hi to friends so I don't feel like a complete recluse. And then I'll go back. But the thing is, like, you have to basically be dedicated it's the same thing as undergrad. Like, when you're studying, you study. You study your butt off. You make sure you understand the material. When I'm on the treadmill, I'll actually, like, keep notes with me on my iPad. Yeah, basically, guys, I love the idea of an iPad and writing my notes down on there because then I can back it up to my computer and I have all my notes on this little iPad that I can, like, use with me while I'm studying um, or while I'm, like, walking on a treadmill because what I'm doing, I actually have to walk, like, 30 minutes a certain amount of time each day. So, or not each day, like a couple times a week, let's be real. Um, but basically, you just learn to be efficient. And I, it's totally doable. Look at your grading system. Like, pass, fail, for reals make things easier. I don't know what's going to be like third year. But like, to me, my school and my health are like probably the most important things for myself. So I definitely make time. And I, I do have time to socialize. If I wanted to go out, if you're the kind of person who wants to go out, you definitely can. I know that last Friday, tons of my friends went out. I'm a little bum and was enjoying watching TV in my room, and that made me happy. I could have spent that time easily going out with people, and so you will have time to socialize. It's not like, med school really sucks a lot, and then it like has your moments where you can have freedom. And if you want to, you will have time to socialize and go to the gym. There are other people who probably just have other things that they're interested in, but you will, you'll be able to manage it. Just don't ex like push yourself too much in the beginning. You have to let yourself like kind of adjust to the pace of med school. So if you end up missing a couple workouts, like big deal. If you end up being antisocial for a little big deal, um, I would recommend maybe living in a place where a lot of your med students tend to live. So if like, there's graduate housing, I'd go with that. I would if you're living in a place that you have to pick your own apartment, maybe pick some, like ask some years ahead of you, like, oh, where do ten lots of med schools tend med students tend to live? And that way it's a lot easier to hang out with people. Like right now I feel pretty isolated. I don't live that close to many med students. And that kind of sucks. But I'm gonna hopefully be somewhere where there's a little more med students and I won't feel like such a loner. But I'm also fine being by myself too, so We'll see, but like basically moral story is stay focused. When you're working out, work out. When you're studying, you study hard and you'll have time to do what you need to do. And if there are any more questions about my schedule, like let me know. It's basically gym, study, 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 study eat.
maybe eat, I don't know. JK, make sure you eat. Like, please eat. Please eat, please work out. I don't function and study well if I'm not eating and working out. So I basically know like I have to work out. It's like a necessity for me or I'm gonna be cranky and I'm not gonna study well. So it's kind of like a job for me, I would say. Like I know it needs to be done and that just makes it like, makes me more like, okay, like I'm not wasting time. Like this is productive for me. And just enjoy the free time you have and you'll have free time. So yeah, that's my thing on my schedule and my advice on maintaining a social life and fitness goal while in med school. So let me know if you guys have any questions.